I found this really cool treasure chest for at a yard sale. Um, we are doing a pirate theme. There's the sail over there and the pirate's sitting there and we're just doing a camp, girls camp, and we're doing some pirate themes in there. So the back hinge was broken off on the one side and so I, it was broken right where the screws go in and it was kind of slanted over. So basically what I did was I took some chisels and chiseled down the that right there and I cut a piece of wood to fit exactly where the, where it was down. Now you can see it looks like it, um, from the back that it's not even but flush but when you fill it from the side it will be flush. And then um, so and it looks like it's sticking up a little bit, but actually this has a curved edge, and it is actually a little lower than the rest there. But um, So what I'm going to do is glue it down, and I can't, it's top heavy, so I can't let it go. It will fall. Um, I'm going to glue it down and put the clamp on it to clamp it down, and then I'm going to put some of this carpenter's glue in the crack right, ah! in the crack right there. Thank you, sweetie. Right there. And then you save some of your shaving to uh, put in the glue, and it kind of makes it more like a wood putty. So I'm going to put the glue in the, the thing, put that down, clamp it down, and then I'm going to use my finger to smooth in some of that shavings on top of the glue so that it is more like a binding and more like the wood color and you can use plastic wood or wood putty, wood fill, different colors, they have a cell model, different colors um, I would go with the natural since this is a lighter color and then I'm just going to paint crackle over the back um, actually I won't paint it crackle, I will just use my hand to paint it crackle but since it's in the back it's not really a big deal. We're doing a treasure hunt with the X marks the spot or whatever and so that's going to be fun for them and then um, these actually were broken off and were in the drawer and I just glued those back on and I think it's going to be a really fun treasure chest for the girls to find. So to recap chisel out the part that's broken, take the screws out of both sides, take the, take the top off that you're going to fix or the bottom chisel it out to be square cut a piece of wood that is actually the size of that. I've done this before when I've been doing woodworking on dressers. I haven't done it with this particle wood before, I've done it with actual wood, but I think it will work the same. Use some kind of carpenter's uh, contact, a steel, uh, carpenter's wood glue or something like that to adhere it. I'm out of the wood glue, it got hard, I haven't done a project in a while. Glue it down, clamp it, and then the other thing I wanted to show you is how to fix the hinge. This hinge had a bobby uh, safety, what is this called, sorry, a paper clip <laughs> through it. And I think that's why it broke, is that the hinge pin came out. And so um, the way to do that is go through your nails, find one that's the, the dimension that you want that's actually a little snug as you can. You want it to be snug and then you use pin snips to cut the head off or the length that you need it. Um, and then you pound it in and if it's a little loose, this one was a little loose, it fit pretty well but it was a little loose, I just used the carpenter's glue to cap it so that it wouldn't fall out. But that's how you can fix a hinge pin rather than buying some new hinges because I'm not going to use this other than a decoration for Halloween. Um, I don't think I would use it for a jewelry box. So anyway, that's how you do it. Hope you, uh, good luck on your projects.